Welcome to the demonstration video for the Enterprise 9000X for Cute Care Medical Beds. This guide is designed to provide users with an overview of the Arjo Enterprise range of medical beds, as well as offer guidelines on their correct use. In each of the sections that follow, you will be guided through the key features and functions. For more detailed information on a specific feature or procedure, you can choose to navigate directly to the most relevant section by clicking on the appropriate title in the contents menu. Always read the instructions for use manual before using the product and ensure that the proper clinical and ergonomic working techniques are utilized at all times to avoid risks of injury. Product Overview This section provides an overview of the Enterprise range of acute care medical beds. The Enterprise range of acute care medical beds, part of the Arjo Universal Medical Bed Platform, is designed to aid staff and patients in the performance of routine medical care and is indicated for the management of patients in critical care, acute care, and medicalized long-term care environments. The Enterprise range consists of four profiling electric medical beds, Enterprise 5000X, 8000X, and 9000X, with optional integrated connectivity, which is available in the United States and other selected countries. All beds are 2-52 compliant and are compatible with a range of active and reactive therapeutic support services and the optional and unique Skin IQ Negative Airflow Microclimate Management System. They have a safe working load of 250 kilograms or 551 pounds and are suitable for use with patients weighing between 40 and 185 kilograms or 88 and 408 pounds who are between 1 meter 46 and 1 meter 90 or 4 foot 8 and 6 foot 2 in height. Installation. This section provides an overview for the installation of the enterprise range of acute care medical beds. Before using the bed, ensure that the power in rating on the specification label is compatible with the local electricity supply. The bed should be positioned with the roller buffers at least 20 centimeters or 8 inches from the rear wall to prevent the headboard striking the wall when the bed is in the head down tilt. Trendelenburg. The power supply cord is supported by a plastic hook at the head end of the bed. Ensure the power supply cord is not stretched, kinked or crushed and that it is not entangled with moving parts of the bed or lying on the floor where it may cause a trip hazard. Ensure it is easily accessible so it can be disconnected quickly in an emergency. When the bed is connected to the electricity supply, indicators will light on the control box and attendant control panel. Optional headboard on base. The bed can be optionally configured with the headboard mounted on the base of the bed instead of on the mattress platform. When mounted on the base, the head and footboard do not move when the mattress platform is raised or lowered bed and mattress extension. The enterprise bed frames can be extended to accommodate patients just over 2 meters 13 or 7 feet tall. To adjust the frame, simply press the lever which is situated under the bed deck below the patient's left foot and slide out the bed extension. Brakes and steering. The pedals positioned on all four casters have three positions, brake, free and steer. Brake means the brakes are applied on all four casters. Free means all four casters are free to rotate and swivel. Steer means three casters can rotate and swivel, but the steering caster can only rotate and the direction is fixed. This helps maintain the bed in a straight line during transport. Optional fifth wheel. To engage and disengage the fifth wheel, push on the raised end of the pedal with your foot. The fifth wheel enhances steering control when transporting the bed. X-ray cassette tray. An X-ray cassette tray is available on all enterprise beds. 
allows thoracic X-ray photography with the backrest at any angle and without the patient moving from the bed. Folding split side rails. Available on Enterprise 9000X to lower the side rail, hold either side rail handle, pull the blue release lever and lower the side rail, holding the side rail until it is completely lowered. The side rail folds down below the mattress platform. To raise the side rail, hold either side rail handle, pull the side rail up and away from the bed until it locks in the raised position. Make sure the locking mechanism is securely engaged when the side rails are raised. Patient controls. The patient controls are available in a handset on the Enterprise 5000X and as an option on other versions, which can be positioned on either side of the bed on the side rail using the clip on the back. On Enterprise 9000X, they are located on the inside of both upper safety side rails. Patient positioning controls include mattress platform height, backrest angle, thigh and calf sections, and auto chair, which uses BioCom tool to simultaneously raise the backrest and thigh sections to prevent the patient sliding down the bed. Please note that Enterprise 9000X includes optional nurse call and bed light controls, as well as additional controls for television and lighting related to integrated connectivity. CARA should ensure the patient knows how to use each function. Attendant Control Panel on Enterprise 9000X, it is located on the outside of the lower safety side rail, with some of the controls repeated on the outside of the upper safety side rail. Status Indicators At the top is the System On LED indicator, which is illuminated when the bed is powered and functional. In the middle is the backup battery charge level indicator. Patient positioning. Mattress platform height buttons. The up and down buttons are repeated on the lower side rail to raise and lower the bed deck height. As a safety feature, the bed will pause at 38 or 40 centimeters or 15 or 16 inches above the floor, depending on the size of the caster, before continuing to its lowest height. An optional foot control can also be utilized to raise or lower the bed. This is helpful for bed height adjustment when the caregiver has both hands occupied. To utilize the bed foot control, lift the foot control cover with your foot and press the left side of the pedal to raise the bed and the right side to lower the bed. Patient positioning, backrest angle button. The backrest angle button raises or lowers the head of the bed. When raising the backrest, it automatically pauses at 30 degrees before continuing the upwards movement if required. This helps caregivers when positioning patients to improve ventilation, for example. Enterprise 9000X displays the backrest angle on the LCD screen of the attendant control panel. Patient positioning, thigh and calf sections. Up and down buttons are available for raising and lowering the thigh and calf sections. They can be used to position the patient comfortably or to improve pressure redistribution in vulnerable areas of the body, such as the sacrum and heels. They also help to prevent unintended patient movement down the bed when using Trendelenburg and Reverse Trendelenburg. Auto chair. The auto chair up button, which uses BioCon tool to prevent the patient sliding down the bed, simultaneously raises the backrest and thigh sections, pausing when the backrest reaches 45 degrees. Continue to hold the button down to lower the foot end of the mattress platform into a chair position. When the backrest and thigh sections are raised, pressing the auto chair up button again lowers the foot end of the mattress platform into a chair position. If the backrest angle is greater than 45 degrees, it will return to 45 degrees to prevent the patient from tipping forwards. The auto chair down button 
returns the mattress platform to a flat and level position. Patient positioning, Trendelenburg and reverse Trendelenburg. The Trendelenburg button enables head down tilt of the patient by decreasing the head angle of the total bed deck. Conversely, reverse Trendelenburg enables the head up tilt of the patient by increasing the foot down angle of the total bed deck. There is an auto leveling pause at zero degrees in both directions. Enterprise 9000X displays the backrest angle on the LCD screen of the attendant control panel. Patient positioning, one touch automatic CPR feature. The heart shaped button activates the automatic CPR feature. When pressed and held, it will rapidly flatten the backrest, thigh, and cuff section while lowering the bed simultaneously. A manual CPR handle is also available on the bed frame. Patient positioning, button lockout function. All of the buttons, except the CPR button, can be locked out by pressing the padlock button and then pressing the button corresponding to each function you wish to lock in turn. An illuminated LED indicator will identify which functions are locked. To reverse this, simply press the padlock again, followed by the illuminated features you wish to unlock. Upper side rail attendant control. The upper control panel enables carers to adjust the mattress platform height, the backrest angle, thigh and calf sections, auto chair position, as well as optional nurse call and bed light on Enterprise 9000X beds. Advanced features available on Enterprise 9000X. Optional 360-degree anti-entrapment sensors. This safety feature prevents the bed from lowering if anything crosses the infrared beam surrounding the lower bed frame. This can be very helpful to help protect caregivers, cleaning or service staff who may be working on the lower part of the bed in the event of someone else activating the bed down controls. Built-in digital weighing scale. The built-in weighing scale is only available on Enterprise 9000X bed. It should be set to zero before the patient is placed on the surface. Dependent on your country, you may also have the possibility to toggle between pounds or kilograms. You may also be able to toggle between the display showing the patient weight to the nearest 100 or 500 grams or 0.2 or 1.1 pounds. Please refer to the Instructions for Use Manual for further details. With the patient on the bed, capture their weight by selecting the first button featuring the patient on the scale. The result should be visible on the display screen. Following the weighing process, the patient's weight can be displayed for 10 seconds whenever this button is pressed. The zero button is also used to zero the weigh scale, usually between patients. The Auto Compensate function allows you to add or remove equipment such as an IV pole or monitor without affecting the patient's initial weight reading. Press the button to activate the function, then add or remove equipment, then press the button again to turn off the Auto Compensate function. Verizone Patient Movement Detection System Verizone is only available on Enterprise 9000 x Simple push-button controls are provided to enable or disable the alarm to detect undesired movement of the patient and trigger an audible alarm to alert medical staff. At the least sensitive setting, VariZone can be used to measure major movements, such as a patient exiting the bed. At its most sensitive setting, it can be used to measure minor movements, for example, in patients in intensive care units who may have been sedated. Optional Safe Set Visual Alert System The optional Safe Set Visual Alert System is only available on Enterprise 9000X beds. It will identify when the bed is in its safest position with the bed height set at its lowest, all side rails up, brakes deployed, and Verizone patient movement detector activated. 
When the safe set is not being used, the indicator lights can be turned off by swiping the supplied magnetic key fob horizontally across the bottom of the safe set indicator panel. Once disabled, the lights cannot be re-enabled for four seconds. Swipe again to turn the indicator lights back on. Mattresses. This section provides an overview for mattress usage with the enterprise range of acute care hospital beds. Mattresses and side rails. Always use a mattress of the correct size and type. Incompatible mattresses can create hazards. The maximum recommended mattress thickness is 18 centimeters or 7 inches, but can vary depending on the type of mattress and side rail. Please read the instructions for use supplied with the mattress and bed. To ensure compliance with 252, an approved Arjo mattress should be used. Compliance with this standard when using other mattresses must be validated by the user. Before you finish, we hope you have found this demonstration video helpful. Remember, you can access these videos at all times. If you need more information, please refer to the Instructions for Use manual. If you feel you still require further training, please contact your line manager as soon as possible to discuss. Thank you for your time.